action. Go away. <laughs> okay, hi. I am alive. Hi friends, my name is Fresh Produce today, which we have none of that. I know a lot of people have been wondering about my situation if you follow my Twitter. And this title is not clickbait, I promise I will explain very soon. This happened over two weeks ago and it's settled now. I didn't want to make this video until I had everything figured out and we came to a conclusion and got negative. So basically, one of my roommates got coronavirus and then another roommate got coronavirus. And I'll explain how this is set up. I know not everyone knows my apartment and my situation. I'm gonna try to make this as clear for you. Also, this lighting is going to change every second because <laughs> I hate cloudy days. I live with three of the roommates. Now, we're all separated into two different rooms that have their own bathrooms and we share a common area, so it's like a T. I live with Emma and Kiana and Hannah live with each other. We see each other every day. It's not a sweet mate situation. We're always together. We all are friends with each other because we knew each other last year and I think around September 15th or 16th Hannah started to feel a little bit a little bit sick. She had a fever 99 We checked her temperature almost every single hour and she consistently had that fever throughout the whole night She napped a lot. She wasn't coughing The only thing that she said was she felt a little bit icky and that her, she had a little fever the next day She started to feel better But then she started to lose her sense of smell and taste and we tested that by giving her a lot of different food items So vinegar soy sauce goldfish ranch ketchup mustard just things that you know when you taste them and smell them She couldn't really tell anything she thought water was barbecue sauce and she couldn't smell the vinegar. So that was a clear sign that something is obviously wrong. That same day she went to a testing center. We didn't know what to do because while COVID symptoms do include losing sense of smell and taste, she wasn't coughing, she didn't have fever anymore, and it's also possibly the cold. We didn't freak out too much, but personally, Hannah was worried. The day after that, this is September 18th now, Emma started to feel a little bit sick. She didn't have a fever, but she felt a little bit drowsier, always wanted to nap, also started to lose her sense of smell and taste. And then that same night, Hannah found out her results and that she was positive. I literally said like, what if I did a video like a week of my life when I'm positive with COVID? Well, you're not positive. Uh, oh. You don't know that. You think I'm not gonna? Oh. <laughs> okay. It's not a happy moment. It is not a happy moment. Has any YouTuber even, no, cause YouTubers don't get it. I'm a mirror. LA doesn't get it. LA doesn't get it. Specifically LA YouTubers don't get it. Yeah, but we share bathrooms and everything. So like, so for the people that are positive at the same time, that's great, except I, Gotcha. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Doctor. Oh, that's, doctor. That's great. That's great. Basically, you being here, we have to quarantine with you for 24 days. And then if one of us gets sick. It's another 14 days. What does that mean? What do I do? Okay. I don't really know. That was very confusing for no reason. I don't think they realize that this isn't, like, like you can't just separate us in this. No, they probably think that, like, we're not close roommates. They also think that we have space. Just isolate yourself in one room and never leave it. <laughs> That's the closet or the bathroom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Don't throw up. Don't throw up. What do I do? That's the question. Don't go home. You'll just increase the chance of giving it to your parents. Bro, we'll just stick it out. Like, yeah. Honestly, like, that's just that's I, all they say. Stick it I out. Mean, we haven't left the house in five days. I think we all have it. And I think what she meant is Hannah already has to quarantine for 24 days. We have to quarantine with her. Yeah. And then if like Emma gets sick, it's I think it's adding that onto it. Yeah. So it's like I just it's, do it, six it, months. It means. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Don't throw up. Don't throw up. Now, at that point, honestly, we all just started laughing because it was kind of a haha. Oh my god, we're all gonna die. Obviously, none of us believed that we were going to actually die, but it was basically a defeatist moment. We didn't know what to do. We were kind of freaking out all the time, but trying to keep our cool. Cute. My sister says it doesn't affect the brain, it's only the lungs. Mine says otherwise. <laughs> You're watching the COVID cave. Da, 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 da. <laughs> we have to start writing our sim- We have to take our- th Our- term th We have to- I'm already the we have to take our temperature twice a day and write it down, and then I'm sweating now. we have to list out all our symptoms I that we're like feeling every day. I'm going insane. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. Keep it together. Keep it together. I'm listening. 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 I
I'm just listening. I'm listening. Take temperature twice a day. If we experience shortness of breath, chest pains, mm -hmm. chest tightness, <laughs> yeah, we have to go to the hospital. No, yes. I'm not dying in a hospital. <laughs> okay, so when I was running and my arm went numb, does that mean anything? My sister said, "Take care of yourself. Your immune system is gonna drop away." <laughs> Why? Why would you say that? <laughs> no, no. Do you think we should all get it like now? Okay, spit. Ah, we should, should all get stop it. it. Stop it. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Last spit night in my share, mouth. We, we share two cans of alcohol in my mouth. We sleep in each other's That's rooms. That's my boo. <laughs> we sleep in each other's rooms like we're bound to get it already. Everything is contaminated at this point. Anymore. I don't think it matters anymore. If anything, we should all get it now. Okay. So we. <laughs> stop it. You're positive. You have the facts. <laughs> Damn it! And I got the facts. Prove it. And what your protocol is: the moment you test positive, you have to contact them. So Hannah put down all our names, and then our cards were deactivated. What that means for us is that we weren't allowed to go on any NYU buildings or shuttles until we got our cards activated again by all testing negative two weeks later. We also had to tell everyone we were in recent contact with in the past five days, which was around four people. No, we are not partiers. We always wear our masks. We always hand sanitize and wear gloves. We don't go to Washington Square Park and just fuck around. So do not get that impression. We don't know where this came from. Hannah is the only one out of anyone she's been in contact with to have been positive besides Emma. All of our friends got tested that same day and they all came back negative. But as for us, it was around midnight at this point and we had to call someone named Joe. She's part of the NYU Health Center and she basically had to guide us through what to do. Joe told us, you have to quarantine now. All of you have to get tested, which is kind of counterproductive because she told us we can't go outside, but we also have to get tested and they wouldn't give us kits. They wouldn't send them to us. I'll explain more on that in a few minutes. Another thing, she told us was that we have to try and wear masks all the time except when we're sleeping because then we would suffocate which is also counterproductive because that means Kiana is sleeping next to Hannah this is a very small room it's 816 square feet in this entire apartment mind you 200 of it is dedicated to this room so it wasn't possible for us to just quarantine instantly and we were all convinced that we all had the virus but Joe insisted to stay hopeful she said on the off chance that you and Kiana because we still weren't experiencing any symptoms are negative you should try to distance yourself, which we did. So we started wearing masks. Emma and Hannah decided to sleep in the living room instead of their beds. That meant it would decrease the chance of me and Kiana getting it if we didn't have it by now. And we didn't really know what to do. It was kind of a not optimistic moment. It's kind of hard to stay hopeful that we're negative because we've been in contact with all of them in the past three days. We all live together, share the same bathroom and kitchen. But the next day, me, Kiana, and Emma had to go get tested. Hannah obviously stayed home. And we had to take the subway, public transportation. And when your shuttles wouldn't let us because we're deactivated and we couldn't get kits, and obviously we felt terrible going on the subway, the off chance that we are asymptomatic and have it, or that Emma is also positive and is already spreading it is just, that was in our mind the whole time, but Joe insisted we go. So we went to the NYU testing center. It's right near Washington Square Park. And the tests were kind of weird. And I'll try to explain why. I recorded a little bit of it, but it was so short that I was taken aback because the first time I got tested when I got back here, it lasted two minutes. The person basically took a cotton swab up to around this area in my nose. It didn't hurt, it just tickled a little bit. And she rubbed around it for around a minute for each nostril. This time she went right here, barely went in and did it for five seconds. I didn't really know how to feel about that. That because I thought that you had to go all the way here to be able to get the actual result and the most accurate result. Emma's test was also similar to mine. Mind you, there's over 20 people testing, so it's not the same person, but you would think that they all do the same procedure because that would yield the most accurate results. Don't ask me, I'm not a doctor, but my sister is, and she said, yeah, they did it wrong because the only person that did it mostly right was Kiana's as the person went all the way into her nostril, basically made Kiana cry and did it for around 10 seconds. So now we were paranoid that the test would be inaccurate, but either way, we went back on the subway, went back home, and that is when we decided to stay hopeful, put Emma and Hannah in one room, me and Kiana in the other room. Joe didn't want us to do that because she said, well, Emma isn't positive yet, she's not confirmed, so you shouldn't risk her. And maybe this is kind of controversial, but we all agreed that we would rather let Emma be in contact with Hannah than me and Kiana because both of them were experiencing the same symptoms. And even though Hannah's the only one who's tested positive, it's just to us more reasonable to save the two of us, me and Kiana, who could be negative than just not quarantine in general. So we moved each other's beds, we cleaned everything. And by that, I mean everything. Well, I saw the living room couch. Well, I saw the blanket that's on it, the bean bag that I have, every piece of clothing that was in that living room. Separated all our clothing. Swiffer sweeper the floor. 
surface wiped every single thing that we could find, including handles, including the bathroom, wore masks and gloves during this whole time. And basically we closed them off and they weren't allowed out, not even into the kitchen. If they wanted food, they would have to ask us or they just got it delivered and we would deliver it to their door. Delivery! And we set this up by putting a chair in front of the door and just knocked whenever we had a delivery for them. And after we knocked, we run into the other room and just stare at them with mask on. Thank you. No problem. Goodbye. <laughs> we also did open the windows, even though they don't open that much, just to let the air circulate. And then we started our 14 day quarantine. Now, Hannah and Emma didn't have to quarantine as long as me and Kiana. It's confusing still, but I'm gonna try to explain it the way Joe told me. Because Hannah and Emma are experiencing symptoms, that means their incubation period of being able to spread the virus has started before then already. So it started the day Hannah experienced symptoms. So that was three days prior, which meant they would just get out three days earlier. Kiana and I's quarantine starts the day we actually quarantine each other off. And we just had to wait for our results. The next day we got them back. Kiana and I woke up to our results. Both of us were negative. negative. <laughs> Not detected. So we didn't do this for waste. Which was very surprising. We honestly didn't think that would happen, but I guess Gays are just more superior. Or it's our immune system. We both do take vitamin C tablets every day. And you know I'm 50% kombucha, and I know that is gonna help me at some point in my life. And I'm convinced it has helped me not get the virus. Your immune system is also genetic. I'm not trying to promote tablets, but I will promote kombucha. Emma's came back positive. So then we just had a quarantine for the rest of the 14 days. Each day went by very slow. And Hannah did have to ask Kiana for more stuff from her room because we moved enough for one day because we wanted to get our our results back first in case Kiana and I were both positive and we just move back. But because we were negative, I went into this room. Emma and Hannah stayed in a corner while I got all my stuff and we all wore masks because I just needed to get all my clothes and my heaps of skincare back into the other room. We also used the dishwasher on hot to try to disinfect all of the plates and we also designated plates and silverware for them. They kept their laundry in this room. We didn't want to mix that up, but we did wash our own just personally. We also had to wash all the blankets out there just in case. And I'm not going to show every single vlog clip but I do have the entire 14 days of us living here I'll put that on the second channel at some point it's up here but just be warned these 14 days were mundane as hell we couldn't go outside we couldn't go to our in-person classes we also had to notify all our professors that we had a quarantine and couldn't go in person by the way NYU still has in-person classes and it wasn't that different from the summertime. I mean, we were used to quarantine at this point. It wasn't too bad because at least we were with each other, but another obstacle came. This varies by every state and city, but in New York City, they provide quarantine hotels. So if you are unable to quarantine successfully, you can call New York City and they can send you to one of the hotels where you can properly quarantine for 14 days for free. You don't have to pay for anything, even the food. They just supply to you three meals a day and no shade to NYU at all. But according to Emma, the quarantine food was better than the NYU food on TikTok. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because Hannah and Emma were both debating on going to one of these hotels as they're both in this room and it's still a little bit risky just because we're not separated fully. The air still circulates through this room. The windows are open. The air can go in between the windows because they're very close together. And we want to be as safe as possible. So Emma decided to go to the quarantine hotel first. A taxi came, picked her up at 10 a.m. When she got there, she gave us a tour. It was in Queens and it wasn't that bad at first glance because there were two beds, one of which didn't have anything on it but the mattress. But the other one only had a small bed sheet and no comforter or blanket and it was very cold in the room. But there was no hand soap, which Kind of makes no sense if you're trying to be clean right now. The Wi-Fi was also very bad and she had trouble going on her Zoom meetings. She had to do the recordings instead. And obviously this is free and this is a first world problem to not have the most luxurious hotel. Emma was fine with it. I'm just trying to state what was there just in case you're curious. But she told Hannah don't go because it's probably not worth it. Because the whole point of both of them going to the hotel was to be able to separate themselves. For all we know, Emma could potentially have the coronavirus for longer Hannah could become negative and then they would still be improperly quarantined and it would make our quarantine last 14 more days, at least for Hannah. But because they were already separated as Emma went to the hotel first, there was no reason for both of them to go technically according to Joe. So Hannah had the option to stay here and she chose to stay here. We didn't want her to go either. Their quarantine ends September 28th and ours ends October 1st. So as of right now, I'm still quarantined. I am not allowed to go out unless it's for testing. And just some clarification for you, we did take her temperature every day twice morning night both kiana and i stayed around 97. kiana and i had no symptoms the entire time no fever and we had to log all of this on a new york city website that's 
part of the health department. We have to do this every day. And if we didn't respond by 2 p.m., we would get a call and then we would have to tell them verbally if we're experiencing any symptoms. This is just New York City's protocol because once NYU found out Hannah was positive, New York City instantly got notified too. But on September 29th, everyone came back and Hannah and Emma are free to go anywhere. And this is where it gets confusing because NYU told Hannah and Emma they don't have to get tested, but told me and Kiana we have to get tested and upload our results. Not really sure why. If anything, I thought that we all had to get tested again, or at least Hannah and Emma have to get tested to make sure they're negative. But don't ask me, talk to the NYU health professionals. It was also very hard to get back to them because when I contacted the student health center, they said, we can't help you. You have to email the COVID department of NYU and I've yet to receive a response. NYU also asked us, have we been in contact with an NYU professional for every single day? And no one called us the entire 14 days until the last day. I got a call yesterday none of the days before that and apparently they were supposed to contact me every day and also contact kiana and hannah and emma to explain what to do each day but no one talked to us so I don't know what's going on there. Either way, as of right now, I'm supposed to get tested, but I can't test at the NYU Center because they've closed down. So I'm just waiting on a response. But other than that, that's what happened the past two weeks. So I'm so sorry if you saw some different setups last week on the second channel and on the podcast. I had to make do with what I could. I wasn't allowed in this room for two weeks, but I'm finally back. I've missed my plants. I miss especially you. And I just want to remind you guys that this is a serious problem. Vote, please. It matters a especially this year, and you should always vote no matter what. If you can, of course. If you're outside the US, just watch us. Enjoy the show. But also please take this seriously. Wear your mask outside. Make sure you use hand sanitized. Make sure you wash your hands properly. This isn't a joke. It's not just the flu. You could lose your sense of smell and taste for months, and it can also damage your lung system without you even knowing it permanently. We're watching you LA TikTok, especially the boys who party. Don't let those people influence you to go outside and party and have mass gatherings. That's not a smart idea. This shouldn't be political, but it sadly is. Just try to be careful, is all I'm gonna say. That's all I have for you guys. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more videos every week. I post every Saturday. If you want to, you can subscribe to my second channel where I post skincare, self-care, and makeup things, or my podcast channel, Top and bottom where I bicker with Kiana for hours. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. That's really cool. I'm hoping to get on Spotify and Apple and everywhere else, but thank you guys for all the support there on and in here in general. It's been a little bit stressful, so bear with me. I'm still trying to get back in the motions of this, but thank you guys for all the support. And as always, I love you guys. Everything is less than three.